Good morning my friends. Okay, the time has come for me to start stripping and uh, take the paint off and prepare the engine for cosmetic repair. And uh, what I want to say to you, um, I will accompany you alone um, on this process. My brother can't make it anymore. Uh, due to circumstances, so I will proceed and that is now, so I will now start with the stripping and we will see how far we came today with the paint strip and uh, so let's take it step by step um, I'll bring you back when I uh, get all the parts off, I'm not going to bore you with that so just hold on Okay guys, one thing I would like to show you is the back of the nameplate or the spec plate. So you just bend up the steps and then it should come off easy. Okay, let's see. I think from the other side we will be able to take it off now. Okay, there it is. Very easy. Okay, now I sit with, with this part. So we're going to tackle it now. And I'm also going to do the exhaust and the tank. Okay, so let me get myself ready here for action. Guys, I'm removing the exhaust now. Uh, lucky this nut came loose. I was at the point worried that it is uh, stuck and will break off. But lucky it, it make a move. Okay, let me get this off quickly. Okay, this is interesting. Okay guys, so it's cleaning up and but I'm going first with the stripping of the paint and then we can return to the engine. Okay guys, there we go. Sorry for that. <clears throat> we will now see how effective this is. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cover all the parts, all the areas, and then uh, I will go to the shops quickly to get some meat for dinner. And we will come back and uh, continue. But I can see clearly already. Can you see there on the red? It's already doing its thing. Let's try the tank. Okay, let's see there. It's already coming off. So this is the original red. It seems if the yellow is was a good paint. But nevertheless, I'll do it quickly. I'll bring you back when all the surfaces is covered. Okay guys, I covered all the areas. And it seems if my paint stripper work well. I'll show you the other side now of the tank. A 
Okay, this is the top side of the tank. So I'll give it a, a while to eat in more and then uh, scrape off and give it another coat. Okay guys, this is how it looks now. After the second coat of stripper and I uh, took some steel and uh, rub it off. So I will give it another coat. You can see there is areas that is still not 100%. But um, I will do that quickly and then I go to the shop and we will finish it up as far as I can. And it seems if it will rain any time as well, so we might revert to cleaning the engine because that I can do inside. Okay, I'll bring it back. See if we can get the last paint off. I just want to put on my rubber fingers. Sorry for the shake. This table is not very stable. Okay, I'll bring you back. It's too, too much of a shake, yeah? Okay, let's give it a wash. Okay, let's tackle the tank. Okay.
Okay, I'll clean it a little bit more and bring you back. Okay. Okay guys, this is the first order of clean on the cowling. It doesn't look too bad, so there's more work with uh, the sanding paper to do, and also the tank. I uh, obviously and uh, purposefully not put too much strip on the tank because I don't want um, any stuff to go in, and it might be difficult to get it out. I would rather. Uh, finish it up with uh, sanding paper so this is my plan with the tank but the most is off <clears throat> okay then I've got all the screws and nuts is in that solution to clean and the screen and then we will also clean that up for spray and I think I'm for the afternoon now going to focus a little bit on engine cleaning so that we have uh, a clean base to start uh, again so tomorrow I will be fully oh, I'm fully booked for tomorrow so there will no video be for tomorrow but uh, Tuesday I will continue or what well, Yes, tomorrow's Monday. Tuesday I will continue uh, with the cl final cleaning up here and uh, put the undercoat on because I don't want the rust to form and then we're going to make the top uh, black and this will also always, always be um, aluminium type paint. So let's start with the machine a little bit. Okay, let's try and see how my cleaning agent work. Okay, that is a, <clears throat> a test piece, let's uh, wipe it off and see how it looks. It looks good. Okay, I'm going to proceed a little bit and bring you back and see what we can achieve. Okay guys, I think this is how far we will come with the cleaning of the engine today. It's not finished yet, but I managed to get most of the areas the most off. You can remember how dirty it was there 
and there but it's definitely not finished yet I cleaned up there as well this plate and at the oops are at the back the plate at the back and uh, so far doesn't look too bad but you can see there inside is still oil and at the bottom there at the plate and overall but we will continue on the next video this is a number one part number one um, doesn't look too bad for a first day and uh, I still I will tackle this with sanding paper and then of course I'm going to get this up and shining nice and probably spray it um, cast iron color and then of course that little sections okay my friend my friends see you in the next one and that will be Wednesday hope you like it so far oh yes and my brother phoned me uh, this morning uh, he will come through but in the not next week the next day the week after but I will continue at that time the machine will be finished and we can proceed so long with other stuff and um, but yes you will receive it in a finished condition okay my friends see you on the next one bye